channel, Homemaking with Katrina. So today is a one week grocery haul, give or take. I've got some things that may last a little bit longer than a week. That's usually how I do. If you are new, hello, welcome to my channel. If you just, just so happen to see a large family grocery haul and you just clicked, stay and watch because I've got some good things. Um, my total... Um, for everything, I went to two, three stores. Um, I went to Costco this time instead of Sam's Club. Usually, I'm a Sam's Club girl. I like Costco, but I typically always go to Sam's Club because we get multiple things there. Paper towels, trash bags, stuff like that. So, um, But I didn't. I was braving the stores by myself today without my husband, and I just felt the need to go to Costco. I, I don't... I don't, I just, I just felt that need and, and that need was the Lord just led me there because it was the right thing for me to do because I found definitely some good things, um, for the kids for lunches and snacks and, um, vegetables that I cannot find anymore at Sam's club. And it's a large family it's nine kids and two adults and everybody eats. So I have to buy things that large in quantity, green beans, I need like the large bag, you know, any kind of vegetables, large size for us. So I'm going to turn on my dining room light because it's just not, it's kind of cloudy today. And I want you guys to be able to see everything that I got good. So I went to Costco, spent $3.24, something like that. Um, went to Target, spent $1.20. I also had like $20 off um, because there were certain things like the candy um, and my kids don't really like peanut butter and jelly, but they like the, um, what is that stuff called? I'm going to show you guys in a minute. I'm going to just read it. Um, the hazelnut um, Uncrustables. And they, and they have them only at Target for whatever reason. So we got some good stuff. Some stuff that we had saw, you know, I have been seeing online and stuff that I couldn't get at like Sam's Club. And then... Um, those little crispy corn dog things I had some months ago and they said that they actually got rid of them and then they brought them back. So I said, it was just making fun. <laughs> God is even good. Y'all. Three boxes, two boxes, one when I went and got the cart and I was like, let me go ahead and put this box up because I'm going to need it. And then when I was walking out of Costco, two boxes just sitting there and I'm like, boys, get those boxes. So it's just been a good day when you pray and you ask the Lord to order your steps go into these stores go out and about you don't know what you're about to face and he does it and I'm so thankful for that so we had um, it took us some hours but we made it through we stopped by and got some lunch um, we haven't been eating out lately we've been eating at home so it was it was a splurge I told him I said you know y'all done so good with helping with everything and everybody act um, really 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 responsible and was watching around because when you're in a busy store like you know a Costco it is or any kind of big large store like that you have to just be watchful because there's carts and there's so much stuff and you know the stockers are pulling those big carts and stocking up stuff so yeah but um everybody done good all nine of them done good even the baby she done good she had a meltdown like towards the end but she done good um, so Costco, Target, and I finished up with my meat at Harris Teeter. Yep. So it was like five something. Um, almost, it was like, no, I take that back. It was like six, six, sixty something, six seventy or something like that. Six hundred. I have to pull out the receipts I have everywhere. It was a lot, but I got a good bit of stuff. So let's get started oh and if you guys have not subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can of course come back for more videos i am a large family mom nine kids homeschool got some homeschool content coming out i've got the video done i just got to have the time to um edit it and get it out um i pretty much kind of schedule my stuff out it was asked to me by one of you guys how do you like come up with these recipes and i said honestly i am so busy during the day with the kids with school and lunches and snacks and all this kind of stuff i actually am up at like two or three o'clock in the morning i wake up automatically just wake up and that's when i'm able to think because the house is quiet it's just me and god up <laughs> And I'm able to come up with a lot of my recipes. So that's how I do it. And I go back to sleep and I wake up, you know, 
early 6:45, 7 o'clock, and I do my devotion and my prayer time, and I drink my coffee, and then the other kids get up and we get started for the day, get schoolwork done, and that's how I get it done. So, um, if you guys were ever wondering that, um, what I was going to say something else. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get out recipes because I know right now um, it's like fall time. You want inspiration, including myself. I'm always like trying to think of different recipes and different ways to incorporate vegetables with meats with my kids because my kids like vegetables, but they're not that big on um, like the frozen veg, not the frozen vegetables, but like the sweet peas and corn mixed vegetables. So I try to find stuff. They like the meat portion of it in the broth and soups. So I'm trying to come out with some different recipes that I can share with you guys too, because having kids, get down please, sir. Um, having kids can be kind of frustrating when you're trying to come up with recipes and then eating the same stuff week after week over and over again. It can just be depressing. And then prices of food is so expensive. So it's just like, I'm sick of eating the same thing. So, yeah. So, got some fun recipes coming out, but I am getting that um, homeschool video. And I think I'm going to also pair it to with um, a what I feed my kids um in a day for lunch to give you guys some ideas of how they eat. Let's get started. Cashy, say hello. Hello. <laughs> so starting on this, uh, this is just an overview of everything on my 10 foot table um, of everything that I got from all the stores. So I'm gonna start on this end and go ahead and knock out the Harris Teether items. Um, and then work my way on down. So at Harris Teether, I got my meats. I got two packs of boneless, skinless breast. They had them on sale. No, sir, don't do that. Um, boneless, skinless breast. They had them on sale for a large family pack for $8 and something. I got one. They only had one pack. Stop, please. One pack of boneless, skinless thighs. We love boneless, skinless thighs. Um, and so this was the last store. So I'm just like, man, I wish I could have found, oh, bless you. I wish I could have found more, but it's fine. The stores aren't going anywhere. I'm not making a vow to never go back to the grocery store. <laughs> or or better yet, come up with my own grocery store. Yeah, like, I can't even keep up with none of that. I, I'm not even trying to do that. But um, I got one, two, three, four, four packs of chicken wings. They were frozen, so, which is fine because... It's fine. They're just going to actually go back in the freezer anyway. They were on sale for like $5 and something. So I was happy about that. Get a little break. I got two whole chicken fryers or two whole chickens. Um, make all kinds of recipes with those. I like to roast them. Um, and then I can do soups and I can do chicken salad. Just all kinds of stuff. Got two um, New York strip steaks just for... Um, probably some stuff where I cut that up. I got a brisket. Um, I'm gonna. I've got a recipe coming with that. I'll be sharing with you guys with um, that recipe soon. I got four packs of ground beef. I also have a big family pack in the freezer. I got two packs of. Oh, that's another pack of um, New York strips. They had them on sale this week. I think $8.99 a pound. Um, two packs of the family style. Um, it's just the pot roast cut up. It's the beef stew meat. Um, I got two cans of evaporated milk because I'm always using evaporated milk. I got um, some canned green beans. I got some um, pinto beans because I'm going to do some recipes with that with chili and I got some um, kidney beans. Cash, can you bring that back over here, baby? Um, that is what I got from Harris Teeter. As far as meat, I got some taco seasoning. Um, which I can make my own and I typically always do, but um, I just grabbed one. They were like 50 cent and I got some chili seasoning. Got two packs of croutons for salads. They had, um, we like Pepsis and we like Cokes, but they had, I saw this sale and it ends actually tomorrow. Um, and I'm glad that I went today. Um, but they had buy two, get two free. So I got two cherry, one Coke, and one Sprite. Um, what else did I get from Harris Teeter? I 
think that is it. That is all I got from Harris Teeter. And like I said, I spent a hundred and no, I spent 200 and some, oh, and some instant rice. I love doing this quick rice. If I don't buy my um, rice from Trader Joe's, the frozen jasmine rice, I'll just get this because it just works out so much better. The rice is flaky and it cooks in a short limit of time and that's, that's what I'm about. So that is what I got from Harris Teether. Mainly, you know, meat is the most expensive thing right now and of course, fresh fruits and vegetables. Those are the most expensive things to me, in my opinion. So I did get some beef this, this time um, because beef has went on sale. Like I told you guys last grocery haul, if it's not on sale, I'm not spending it because we don't, we're not doing that. No, no, no. Um, it's not important. Not important at all. It's just food. So um, now on to Target. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to pause really quick. I've got to go take some cinnamon rolls out the oven. Okay, guys. So I'm back. I had to take some cinnamon rolls out. We bought some cinnamon rolls um, at Target and... Um, one of my boys, when he was bringing the bag in, it fell out of the, bringing the bag in from the cart, it fell out of the bag and it popped open um, because they were kind of unthawed a little bit. And so I just cut them up and I'll show you guys what I done with them. But two went flying out and so I had to throw those away. And um, so I just, I'll show you guys what I done. So if that ever happens, this is just something that you can do with this. That's easy because six cinnamon rolls is not going to feed my kids. <laughs> That's why I have to use and make by two of them. And, um, but anyway, back to what I was saying now on to Costco, um, right here, I got this ketchup, um, and relish and mustard pack. It was like $12 for this, which is a good deal. My boys go through so much, um, condiments. And so I'm like, you know what? That's a good deal because I love relish. Me and my husband love relish and we like mustard. So um, I saw this um, dragon fruit juice. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to make me a mango dragon fruit lemonade because Starbucks has not been in my budget lately. So yeah, um, got a pack of um, light brown sugar, got a pack of granulated sugar. They had these Tostitos um salsa con queso packs a two pack for like eight dollars or something like that um got a bag of potatoes russet potatoes a bag of the little pop potato company um they're the little tiny ones sorry y'all about my ashy hands i washed them um bag of sweet potatoes i got some um olive oil not olive oil i'm sorry i did get olive oil i got vegetable oil the two pack um, got this, the crispy potato, um, corn dogs, got one of those, got, um, no, I bought this from Target, so got the tzatziki sauce, um, got a thing of sour cream, got this queso, um, um, queso, it's like with, it's mild, but more medium, um, so it'll be a little spicy, but yeah. Got a thing of unsalted butter. Got the tomatoes on a vine. Got some fresh corn. They had the Tostino scoops for $5 for this large family bag. Got some um, apples. Got some plums. Um, two things of, I got a thing of fresh vegetables, frozen fresh vegetables. This Normandy um, variety, the broccoli cauliflower and orange and yellow carrots, which is so good. Um, got a thing of green beans. We like green beans, y'all. Yeah. And collards and cabbage and broccoli and turnips. What else? Squash. Yeah, we love vegetables around here. Got two things of Cheddar Jack cheese, a big thing of it. I think it's um, it's two and a half pound bag, so it's a good, good, good deal. Um, a can of organic diced tomatoes. I uh, use those tomatoes and so much stuff. Um, the kids wanted some egg rolls. These are the chicken egg rolls. I got me and my husband some Izzy's. Those are our little go-to sweet drinks. Um, got a two bag of the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Got some pretzels. Got these high expensive little 
noodles that the kids wanted, spicy. So that's like lunch foods. Got some homestyle Eggo waffles, got some Cheez-Its, got the classic mix of the Frito um, Lay chips, got this big, huge thing of microwave popcorn. Even though my husband does not eat this, he loves to make homemade popcorn and they love it too, but these are easy snacks for them. So it was definitely a good deal for 44 bags. I think it was like $15 or something like that. Got some of the little chewy, um, soft and chewy granola bars. We always get those every time we go to Costco. And it's like a 40 something pack. Oh no, 64 pack for $8.99. I'm like, yes. Um, they had the Mott's on sale for $7.99, and this is a 90 count um, on sale. Got, what else? I think that is it. Oh, I got some olive oil. And that is it. Oh, and I forgot, you guys, I got some Worcestershire sauce and some um, barbecue sauce from um, here, see them. So that is all I got from, oh, and I got two cases of 40 packs of waters from um, Costco. And if you're wondering, like, why does she have eggs? Why don't she have milk? Why does she have bread? I didn't need any of those things. So um, that's why I didn't get it. I am I have so many eggs and we do not drink a lot of milk. I, they eat cereal, but mainly I cook with milk. So... There's three jugs of milk in the refrigerator right now. And um, so that's why I didn't get eggs. I didn't get as many vegetables as I wanted to, but I can always go back. I'm going to use what I have. And then we go, and I go in between and get stuff like a fill-in haul. Um, so that's what I do. I use up all that I buy and then I go back and get everything else again. So if you're wondering like why I don't do like a weekly grocery haul like like that because I'm not having to do that as much. I have some things, fresh fruits and vegetables automatically get used up in a week, but a lot of stuff like the snacks and meat, um, I'm able just to go pick up some more stuff in between and do it like that. Um, so now on to Target, I got some um, cookies, got some granola. They had this on sale for $3.99. I've got um, some yogurt, got these little um, smoothies for the boys, um, got some blueberries, got some strawberries, got some grapes, um, got these little dino nuggets, got two bags of Arby's fries. These are, you know, quick and easy lunches. Lunches got some um, wild catch flounder, two bags of those. Um, I know I bought some foil and I didn't have to show that. And then I bought some body wash. Two boxes of the, um, of course, chocolate flavored hazelnut spread, um, Uncrustables, and the star of the show, the best thing of all. Oh, I got some coffee um, and some creamer, and I told you I bought some cinnamon rolls, and the star of the show. Are y'all ready? Ta-da! <laughs> Y'all, I love candy. <laughs> I love candy. Believe it or not, y'all see me smile. I don't have no messed up teeth. And I do go, I go actually next, no, the 30th and get my teeth cleaned. And I always have a very good report, no cavities. So I'm thankful for that. Um, but I, we love candy here. We do. We do. And so we get excited when we see um, candy come out. I love my favorite, honestly, my favorite candy the favorite two seasons that have the best candy is Valentine's Day and Christmas. Easter is good too, but they have a lot of bunny shaped um, candies that just, I don't know, like it, like Easter time, they'll have like the trolleys, the gummies shaped like bunnies and they're just too big. And then they'll have like, um, what else bunny shape? The Reese's and the bunny. And it's just too much peanut butter. And I'm not that big on peanut butter. So I like when they have like V-Day and Christmas. Because the peppermint sticks. And oh, I just I just love it. Anyway, so yeah. So got some candy. And that is it. So that is a large family grocery haul for a week, give or take. And all of my canned goods over here that I got. And that's it. 
So yeah, so thank you guys so much for sitting here watching all this junk food and all this other stuff <laughs> that I bought, stuff that we like, and yeah, how we feed our family because nobody's going hungry over here. No, no, no. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please stay tuned for more videos coming up. Um, I've got some more videos coming out, food related recipes and more grocery hauls and all that. So you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. So guys, I came back on here and showed you what I did. <laughs> so you just cut them in little fours and you bake them for about 10 minutes on 350 because you don't want to over bake them and you just put the icing on them and they are so cute so they're like cinnamon bites so um i seen a recipe too that what they done was they used the um biscuit dough like the pillsbury dough and they made them like pretzel pretzels they did the whole process for pretzels but with the dough and so i'm like these are just like the ones that you get at um the little pretzel shop but they're not going to taste like pretzels they're going to taste like cinnamon rolls but it's a cute little snack and they can just pop this in the mouth in their mouths and you can also do this too for breakfast with fruit on the side but yeah i just wanted to share that little tip with you guys bye